Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we are going to check out Glissando Harps from Chocolate Audio. This is a library of two separate harps, a concert harp and an orchestral harp, and it is for contact full version. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and deals just like this. All right, so as I mentioned before, we have two separate harps here. We have an orchestral and a concert harp. And the orchestral one comes with five different kind of sound presets, Berlin, Hollywood, London, Paris, and Rome. So we're gonna check those out as well. Now, there are a lot of different articulations. This is a fully, deeply sampled harp library that would be great if you need an orchestral or a concert harp library. And we're also going to check out the kind of in-depth glissando options inside this library of course it is called glissando harps we'll check that out as well first off i'm just going to play through some of the articulation so you can get a feel for the quality of the instruments so we'll start with the orchestral harp and berlin and we'll scroll through these different ones you hear the different kind of sound presets
All right, so as you can hear there, scrolling through the different kind of sound presets from Berlin, Hollywood, London, Paris, and Rome, there is a slightly different sound char characteristic for each of those little NKI files or sound presets. Now, we have piano and harp mode, and you heard some of the different articulations there. There's a lot of different customization for, um, for instance, what the release sounds like what technique they're using there um, we have different pedals you kind of heard when i played in the very lowest note there is a really kind of strong beautiful resonance there uh, again there is a lot of different options you can either enable or disable and tweak here within the um, articulations panel and then again in the mixer panel so I also, again, of course, want to show the glissandos and the pedals and all of that stuff. So we have piano mode where you play it like a piano and you hit the black keys and it goes up. And then we have harp mode where the black keys don't play anything and you can do kind of glissando sweeps just playing the white keys like this. So what I'm going to do here is play this glissando here it's just very basic but of course in heart mode we have different pedals to enable and disable and it's very easy to change the tonal center here or the chords or scale that the glissando is playing So that's really cool. That's part of, of course, it's called glissando harps, and that is part of it. It's really deep, really a lot of different options there for adjusting the pedals, adjusting the tonal centers or the note it's kind of going to center on, and then the different chords. So you can play in the exact same notes in my DAW, but of course, depending on what we choose over here, the glissando is going to adapt to whatever song you're writing or whatever key or chord you'd like it to be. And then we have the concert harp, which is a slightly more up close, less spacious sound. This is a really beautiful library. Um, let's listen to that. I mean, you can hear that release there when the key releases. We have a kind of a sound there. Again, that can be adjusted, turned on and off. There it's a lot more pronounced. So I like the etouffee there. Um, again, a lot of different options. It's a really beautiful library, very deep. If you're a harpist, if you're a piano player, um, if you know how the actual harp is played with the different pedals and everything, this is going to offer like an unparalleled amount of depth for you to kind of craft those glissandi. And again, if you don't know, you can play it in piano mode. You can have fun like I'm doing, just experimenting with the different tonal centers and chords here. And it sounds very, very beautiful. And of course, we can just go in piano mode and play it on our keyboard like a piano.
So a very nice dynamic range there. There's a lot that you can do with this. If you need an orchestral harp library, this is easily one of the best on the market as far as sound features and functionality. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at Glissando Harps from Chocolate Audio. They have a very long in-depth walkthrough as well from the developer that will go a bit more in-depth on how exactly to use this because it is a very fantastic and very deep instrument or sample library. So thanks so much, guys, and I will see you next time.